Okay, we're going to talk about can coronary artery disease be reversed. A lot of people call it coronary artery atherosclerosis. They call it heart disease. There's a lot of other causes of heart disease, but can it be reversed? And the answer is yes, of course. Okay, that's not widely known though. A lot of people don't realize that. Here is a drawing of a microscope slide of atherosclerotic plaque. There's a great article, by the way, if anyone is interested. It's by William C. Roberts, MD. He's a pathologist who specialized in cardiac disease. He worked at Baylor Hospital. He's got a YouTube channel just by his name, William C. Roberts. Excuse me. And um, he gives a lecture. It's kind of like the same lecture over and over, but it's a great lecture. And I think it's from like 1995, but it's called Quantitative Assessment of Coronary Artery Atherosclerosis in like 2000 Necroscopy Autopsy Segments, okay? And the point is this. First of all, number one, for my atherosclerosis lectures, atherosclerosis begins as a blood clot. That's an important point. High cholesterol is associated with atherosclerosis because... LDL cholesterol sticks the red blood cells together and makes them prone to clotting. When an atherosclerotic clot forms in an artery, the endothelial cell, precursor cells, will cover it up. They're like circulating endothelial stem cells. And that's how it becomes subintimal. And then this drawing is somewhat similar to the progression of the atherosclerotic plaque. Initially, it's just a blood clot with a lot of red blood cells stuck together by LDL cholesterol, typically. In the setting of an acute infection, it could be IgM antibodies. In the setting of high uric acid, that could do it as well. But in general, let's just go with the LDL cholesterol for this one. Um, then you'll have areas of uh, lipid core, all the fat. You'll have areas of necrosis, the necrotic core. And that those will be transitioning into fibrosis. And the scar tissue will be progressively less cellular. And then eventually in an old clot, you'll have calcification. So an atherosclerotic plaque is very much like a hematoma, an area of bleeding that gradually gets resorbed by the immune system. Okay, so the important point is the fat can all be reabsorbed. The necrotic tissue can all be reabsorbed. Some of the fibrous tissue can be reabsorbed, especially uh, the earlier part of it. And then the later calcification, that'll be there forever. It's just a scar. Okay, so the next question is, well, what proof is there that coronary artery disease atherosclerosis can be reversed? And there's a lot of it. First of all, Walter Kempner, uh, who treated about 19,000 patients over in Durham, North Carolina with his rice diet, he had scores and scores of patients who had EKG reversal. If you look at his scientific publication, you will see page after page of EKG reversals. Um, that had previously shown signs of ischemia but no longer did. Ischemia means lack of blood supply due to atherosclerosis. Nathan Pritikin reversed his own EKG findings and he subsequently had cases of cardiac cath reversal of atherosclerotic findings that he uh, mentioned from his Pritikin program of uh, diet and exercise. Uh, Mark Armstrong was a researcher who showed reversal of atherosclerosis in the arteries of monkeys, you know, another primate. Henry Buchtwald was doing these surgeries, he did intestinal bypass surgeries in humans as a way to lower their atherosclerosis and showed some reversal of atherosclerosis. Blankenhorn showed reversal of atherosclerosis in the femoral arteries, those are of the thigh. Uh, T. Colin Campbell with his China study, this is from his book, The China Study. There was a county called like Gazoo and they had 265,000 autopsies and there were zero patients who died from coronary artery disease. Coronary artery disease is the most common cause of death in the United States. There would have been at least 26% uh, dying from coronary artery disease if that was an American population, for example. And the point is made, it's not an inevitable part of aging. The typical ignorant person thinks, oh, well, you know, I've got atherosclerosis. What are you going to do? I'm just part of getting older or it's all genetic. Everybody in my family has coronary artery disease. No, it means you're eating the wrong diet. The incidence of coronary artery disease is zero in populations that eat plant-based diets with no oil. Okay, William C. Roberts, we talked about him, the pathologist. He, you know, he noted that if you feed a high-fat diet to herbivores, they all get atherosclerosis, 100% of them. Um, so humans have the physiology of a herbivore, therefore we shouldn't be eating that stuff. Okay, Gregory Sloop's another pathologist. And by the way, I like pathologists when it comes to the research of coronary artery disease because they look at it under a microscope. And what they're going to tell you is that atherosclerosis begins as a blood clot. It progresses like an organizing hematoma. Um, and that's relevant. There's not that much infl inflammatory cells inside of it. CRP in the blood is just used as a surrogate marker of inflammation, but in the actual atherosclerotic plaque itself, there's not that much inflammation. Bug in the room. Okay, 
Dean Ornish um, showed reversal of coronary artery atherosclerosis on spec scans where the heart perfusion improved following the patient being put on a vegetarian diet. Caldwell Esselstyn um, then wrote sort of the classic book on reversal of coronary artery disease called Prevent and Reverse Heart Disease. Um, you don't need to buy the book if you don't want. Just watch his videos. He's got lots of videos online. And um, sort of the famous paper was from the July 2014 issue of Family Practice. Um, what does Caldwell Esselstyn recommend? No meat, not one bite, no oil, not one drop, no sweets, no caffeine. And then I would also add no alcohol, no tobacco. Um, I would also add get some exercise and walk for circulation, but not initially till your diet and everything is stabilized. Keep your total cholesterol below 150. Um, people say to me, why am I so strict in my recommendations? Well, because I know that works. You want things to work. Coronary artery disease will often present with sudden death. Okay, these diseases are serious. You don't want to mess around with them. Um, and the good news is if you just follow these diets, which is what our ancestors ate many years ago pretty much, you don't get any of these diseases. Uh, I also think it's good to eat organic only. I think there's some advantages. Some of the herbicides and pesticides in organic, I think, can make you fat and increase your risk of fatty liver and atherosclerosis. I also think a person should be, you know, careful to minimize their exposure to estrogenic chemicals. That's becoming a more common reason of people becoming fat. Once they're fat, they'll trend into hypertension, and that can then trend into diabetes and atherosclerosis. And by the way, Esselstyn's work has been reproduced. Other cardiologists and other physicians who put themselves or the patients on the type of diet Caldwell Esselstyn recommends have also seen dramatic improvement in atherosclerosis risk factors. So the bottom line, yes, it can be done. If that's an issue for you, you got good reason to be hopeful. You just gotta follow the diet. And you know, the lifestyle matters too. It's not as important as the diet, but it matters.